The FDA has issued a voluntary recall for several drugstore acne products that contain high levels of a potentially cancer-causing agent, benzene. According to the CDC, long-term exposure to this chemical can even lead to the development of leukemia. And we have leading skincare expert Dr. Smita Ramanatham is here with advice on treatment options that are backed by industry experts. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. So first question, what exactly is benzene and why is it harmful to the skin? So benzene is actually an organic compound. We typically find that in industrial products, gasoline, cigarette smoke. So it is a known carcinogen, meaning it can cause cancer. Of course, this is in higher doses, longer durations of exposure. And so what should viewers do if they have any of these recalled products? So we have to remember the recall was actually at the retail level. So stores should not be selling these products, removing them from the shelves. But of course, if you have this product, you want to stop using them and certainly either call the retailer or the actual company to figure out the next steps. What are some common acne concerns that you've seen in your patients? So acne, I always like to think about it in two categories. One is the actual acne that can range anywhere from pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, all the way to really deep cystic acne, and then the effects of the acne. So oftentimes it can lead to scarring, inflammation, hyperpigmentation, um, as well as the emotional impact. Yeah, you know, I think that for so many people, this is a struggle that starts when you're a teenager and sometimes all the way through midlife and mm -hmm. beyond, right? I guess for some folks, they might wonder, what are the warning signs that someone might be sort of at greater risk for something more serious? And when should people actually see a doctor for this? So that's a great question. I always say the earlier, the better. You know, it's, it's great to try over-the-counter products, making sure you're eating right, low grease foods, hydrating, moisturizing. Um, but once those, you know, you feel like you're not really seeing results or you're starting to see some of those uh, consequences and pigment changes, you do want to seek medical attention. Mm. Yeah, with acne, I mean, we've come such a long way. Um, I know there's pills people can take, there's topical. What are some treatment options that are cutting edge right now? So it's keeping it basic, right? Good skin hygiene, washing your face. I like products that have benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, retinols are a great product. And sometimes you might need antibiotics as well because it can be bacteria. Um, causing and there's also treatments we can do in the office. We can do laser treatments, chemical peels, extractions, but again, you do want to see a medical professional. So, you know, on social media, for instance, you can find any number of regimens that are 20 steps sometimes, yes, right? Yeah. What do you think about that? Too much can cause a problem, right? If really? we over um, stimulate our skin and we're using too many products, we can get actual inflammation from that as well, which can then lead to more acne. Mm. So again, keep it simple, see your dermatologist, see your plastic surgeon, and just get a very streamlined regimen that you can stick to every day. More is not necessarily better. More is definitely not better. <laughs> oh, <thank laughs> so doctor, what are some of your go-to options? So I love salicylic acid. I think that's a great product to help control the oil. It unclogs pores. Retinol, especially in the more mature patient, is great. It increases skin cell turnover, also unclogging pores. Um, but again, just keeping your face clean, hydrated, um, not touching your face, things like that really make a difference. It's so basic, but it's so hard to do. It right? really is. Yeah. That's why pimple patches are great too, because you can just place it on and you're not picking at your pimple. Right. And, right. and not touching your face is because you transfer. You don't want to transfer bacteria, okay. oils, grease. Reminding your people face. why we don't do that. Right, right. Right. Dr. Ramanadam, thank you so much for being here. It's thank great to have you. you. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, wonderful meeting you, and we will be right back. Thanks for joining us.